We go now to a Channel 2 Action News investigation. Hundreds of thousands of drivers use the Peach Pass to avoid Metro Atlanta's heaviest traffic. But some drivers say they're getting hit with extra fees because of delays in those tolls showing up on their accounts. Channel 2 investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln went to the state agency in charge for some answers. It's really meant to be a pay-as-you-go system, but several Atlanta drivers say it's taken a month of using their Peach Pass before any tolls show up. This is just a lack of accountability. I just feel like if we're not on top of it, we're just getting taken advantage of. I just stopped using it. Stop because of what drivers describe as excessive delays and tolls. You owe your customers an explanation for this delay in the transaction. Kevin Cleary says he's been a Peach Pass user since the Express Links opened in 2011. He says until a few months ago, his account would get charged almost instantly when he used the lanes. But now Cleary and other drivers say it's taken a full month before ever seeing a toll. I really want the convenience that comes with it, but I feel like I'm being shaken down. And, and there's nothing I can do about it. It just became frustrating. Sandra Wiggins and Jacqueline Flood say the same happened to them. Drivers say they can't dispute any of the tolls because so much time has passed from when they use the Peach Pass lane to when the tolls show up. And if their prepaid account balance doesn't have enough cash, they're charged multiple administration fees that add up fast. Do you question the validity of those charges? Yes, I mean, of course. Other drivers have taken to social media to complain about the delays. One user on Reddit wrote, I used the toll lane for like three to four weeks before anyone noticed. We weren't being charged. Now I'm scared. We're going to receive a big fat fine in the mail soon. What did we do wrong? Another user wrote, it took like a month and a half for some of my drives to show up. Why am I being penalized? Keishla Mitchell says the problems aren't just with delayed tolls. She says she's received several violations for driving her electric car in the express lanes with the alternative fuel vehicle license plate. That's still not fair to the consumers and you're still making money by error. So how many other people have been fined erroneously? She used a Florida Sun Pass, which allows her to use the express lanes, but not for free with the alternative fuel vehicle license plate. However, that was not clear on the Peach Pass website or when she asked the tag office. I don't think it's fair to me as a consumer. I did everything that I was supposed to do. Channel 2 took the four drivers' concerns to the State Road and Tollway Authority, which handles billing for Peach Pass. The agency says in a statement it is working to identify the cause of delayed transactions posting to accounts and rectifying any impact caused by such delays. Serta says high volume, Peach Pass now has one million customers, is one reason for delays. Image reviews are another reason. They are triggered when a car enters, leaves, and re-enters the express lanes. And when a transponder is missing or not being read properly. In those cases, a person looks at video of the trip to determine the toll. So I just feel like that's taking advantage and they need to get their system up to par. After Channel 2 reached out, Serta updated the Peach Pass website to say tolls will show up in 14 to 30 days. It used to say 7 to 10 days. Serta also updated the section on using the lanes for free with the alternative fuel vehicle license plate. A spokesperson told us the agency waived some fees or gave toll credits to three of the drivers we interviewed. Back to you. You don't know unless you ask and you really try know. to find out what's yeah, going on. Absolutely. Now, you can read the uh, SRTA's full response to our questions about the delays on our website at WSBTV.com. Legitimate concern for so many people out there waiting to get that bill.